Drills, you say? We got the drills. Here's a wonderful collection of new artifacts coming into the mines, courtesy of the Mojave Desert Museum down there in Kingman, Arizona, and our good patron saint benefactor, uh, Junior Huffman. So this is a combined uh, collection from both of them right now. And I'll walk you through it real quick uh, if the wind gives me a little break. First, we've got this wonderful steel-wheeled wheelbarrow over here. Yeah, you know, circa 20s and 30s. It's actually on its way into the noonday as we speak. These two drifter posts over here, which we finally managed to get kind of freed up, at least one of them, would mount the uh, advanced carriage like this one right over here. And a sinker drill like these would mount on that carriage and push back into the rock wall as it's operated on compressed air. Here comes that wind again. Sorry, my microphone got chewed up by a certain little black uh, mine lab who shall remain nameless. Cleo! And um, these drifter drills came to us out of Kingman, these three right here. A couple nice little pneumatic stopers and an authentic old widow maker right here with no water attachments, so she was a dry drill. And we got another Thor that we recovered from Junior's yard uh, that was literally dug up out the ground. But uh, I got some hope for that one. These guys, not so much, but they'll at least be display artifacts back in the mine. This little corkscrew over here, which was actually what the miners used to bore holes in the timbers for attaching bolts. So let's take a look at that here. Dun, dun, dun. Yep, you want to turn the drill? Turn that one. I mean, she's only about five feet high and got some drill steels and a pickaxe over here. Two more drill steels by this old 1930s Cleveland drill, which is also again on its way back into noonday. Come over past the advance, we got some more drill steel here, and we got a rail bender over here, which is how miners would bend the rails underground to fit the drifts and tunnels, and along with another piece that was used to rivet the two together. These are both out of the Gemco catalog, made by the Gemco company in St. Louis. And happy to have them, although if I had a time machine, um, I'd be going back to tell Junior Huffman, hey, Junior, I love you, but please don't leave the rail bender out in the rain. I've been trying to get this thing to turn free for two weeks. Uh, yeah. But hey, if it wasn't challenging, it wouldn't be fun, right? All right, so again, great collection here. More stuff coming. And hopefully by the time the other stuff gets here, some of these guys will be back in the mines where people can actually see them. But if you come out here on a mine tour in the meantime, you can still come visit them in place. And we'll show them, and you can hold them and play with them and take your pictures with them and see actual pieces of uh, American mining history right here. These beautiful machines you know, did the work to make these tunnels and drifts around here. And they are America. Salute!